for some reason. What's wrong with them? It's almost like I have an electrical issue or something. Almost like the cab got filled up with water. What'd you do to it? I don't know. Very strange. Welcome back to Murphy's Diesel, folks. It's 2.30 in the morning. And, uh, not a soul in sight. Raindrops on the windshield. There's a storm moving in. And Hot Rod's coming back from a place that he never should have been. Where's that? I can still smell the perfume on him. Got ourselves a tractor trailer rollover. Got another trailer with, uh, you want to shut that up? That's your seatbelt. You have to wear your seat. I thought the electrical didn't work in this, in this jobby. Huh? Apparently that's the only thing that does work. Uh, we're not, we're not quite to highway speeds, folks, yet, so, uh, we're still being safe. Getting my, getting my lap belt on right now as we speak. So, just hold tight. Oh, yeah, there we go. Do I, can I, can they see me in the light? Yeah. I got this if you want to go a bit better. Oh, I didn't know you had that. You got all of them? Yeah. Why didn't you tell me it was so close? <laughs> I was looking, looking at the road. I literally, when did it go that close? So now I'm going to have to redo the whole thing. You're the one holding the phone. I'm the one driving. It's literally facing you. Look at it. Yeah, but I'm not looking at the screen. Where you what? Huh? Bring me one? No, I figured you'd see it there now. I'm gonna split it in half for you. You think I can? No, I don't think you can. Oh, good job. We're in route. Finner is in route himself. He's got a set of bogeys on the back of his wrecker. He's in the eleven the new eleven fifty. He's in he's in cash. Tango's up in Blackstaff, soon to be on scene. War Machine's already on scene. We're gonna roll three rotators deep tonight, folks. So, this morning, stand by. We're working with the skeleton crew. So we, got, we got a bunch of guys that drug up. Some guys are on vacation, you know. Uh, some guys are tired because they made so much money. Stand by. Just might get west. Slaps on scene in his Ford Raptor. Michael's probably gonna roll out here in his TRX. With the highway closed, they're gonna race him down the highway. Wouldn't that be fun? Be quality. Let's go check this wreck out, folks. Up, so. Yeah, on the scene. On the scene. Got to watch it damn near happen. Really? Yeah. So other than those two trucks, that was the fourth truck. So there's one more in front of me. Almost hit him. That 
and then I was right behind them. I don't know how many people were in between there. Why'd they turn this down? Uh, I said he didn't have the manpower. He's like, I can't get anybody out here to help me with it until 8. Is there another wreck on uh, Westbound? I know DPS will miss one in the first half and they were headed back. One DPS officer was headed back that way. Oh, like there's a wreck down there? Huh. Well, here we go again. I'm like... Boy, this... This Cascadia hauled its last load, huh? Oh, yeah. So that slid all the way down the rail. Yeah, and then bound up. Cause yeah, that's the reflective that you come at. That means it ripped out a cemented in post, a steel post. <laughs> Did this budget all when you lifted it? I didn't see it. Uh, not really. Flexed uh, up. Uh, yeah. Can you see the daylight under it? Yeah. I cannot. Now, the curb's about that far away, right here. So, and then it's just laying on it. Got the guardrail pulled out of the trailer. See how many feet of guardrail is wadded up in the trailer all the way back here. I think most of this wall is compromised, so we're gonna try to slide this over back up on the road a little ways and kind of square it up, get it away from this guardrail and then We'll make a game plan. I don't know if we're gonna be able to roll it overloaded. It's walls pretty compromised, so. Finner is on scene with, uh, what are we calling it, Tango? Where? There's Cash right there. A poncho and Lefty, whatever we're gonna call it. Hold on a second, let me watch it. Think it's gonna split it? I don't think it's gonna split it well. So 
we're gonna try to fill yeah. it loaded. Probably. Got three rotators here. So. Yeah. Oh, there's the cable that feeds through it. Huh? You know, the cable they use to hold that yeah. piece on is coiled up right under here. So. Here, let me in there. Yeah. Let me check it out. Let's get in here and check it out. Go ahead, snoop around. Go ahead, snoop around. Oh yeah, it's pretty square. Just watch that roof. Pulling off, we don't want it to. Let me know if it starts coming apart. Keep going. Yeah, I think we're far enough away. Yeah, it might. We might be able to belly chain it. I don't know. Depends how much is left of that wall under there. Let's get it rigged up anyway. Yeah, you're gonna pull it out first. We may need to pull it back though to get that pin released. Okay. But once you pull it out, then uh, we'll just throw a strap under it and roll it over. Yeah. Hey, where's the grizzly bar? Ready? 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 Little teamwork, huh? Huh? Yeah, good. Now you go watch it. Go ahead. That's probably good. Yeah, you're clear. Now we're gonna rig this bad Jackson up and roll it over. Get the tractor out of here. This trailer is so mangled, we're gonna try to handle it by itself with no tractor hooked to it, so. Stand by.
like the rail broke loose. Still got a gusher here. Still got a here. Yeah, the gusher is still. Sometimes you just gotta cowboy the mm. out of it, you know? They want this road open. We got the whole highway shut down, so do what you gotta do. That still look good. Get this hooked up real quick and drag it out of here and then back back in here. What are you doing? Put a regulator in here to run these bags because uh, our leveling valve took it <laughs> on our bogies. So now I'm plugging lines off. And... So you put a regulator in here. So you can adjust the airbags and then run the brakes on these bogies. See, we just got this bogey in here because we tore the other bogies out. So, so we throw another set of bogies in here to get it back to the yard, you know. So then you have to unload the trailer and you have to put it on a slide axle. Just pick it up, throw some bogies under it. Pull it back to the yard. You can do it vice versa too. You can rear tow this hard bar from the rear, put the bogies in the front. But we already got a tractor hooked to the front and this highway is closed and uh, I've already talked to the governor like four times. So he is not happy. So here we are working on a Sunday. At least we didn't turn it down. At least we didn't turn it down. Now you gotta know when you're beat. You know. Here comes the sunset. Sure is a beautiful sunset, huh? It's a hot rod sunset. To hot rod sunset. regular warm-blooded Americans, it's a sunrise. Oh. I'm dyslexic, I get those mixed up.
<laughs> That's how it's done, folks. That's getting western. We don't do fist bumps. We're not liberals. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> this, let's get this effer out of here. All right, we need to get these. See if we can roll this over on a pallet and keep it intact. And then get all these onto another pallet, stack it on there. And then we'll get it on that light duty. We don't have much to haul out of here. So. Then we can get the highway open. You want us to get on rig first? Uh, yeah. Uh, yeah, let's go ahead and start the rig. Okay, you don't have to send me. You don't have to send me new straps, Thad. We didn't even tear up any scrap with that gaping hole in the side of it. Okay, I was filming. This is the first recovery strap I ever bought. Right here. It's still working. It's still out here working. This strap must have made you a lot of money. A million dollar strap. Probably needs to be retired. I'm just kidding. It's just getting broken. <laughs> Rotators everywhere. All three of them bad boys on the job. Sure does make a wreck go smooth when you got three rotators on it. Finner's gonna hard bar it. Get this bad Larry back to the Back to the yard. Gonna haul her down to the Flagstaff yard. Whoa. Huh? Let's see, yeah, pick it up just gently and see. Look at all this oil here. We got some oil dry. You gonna light that little hound dog or? Safety first, my friend. I can't see nothing. Safety never takes a break here at Murphy's Diesel. I just had to give Hot Rod my sunglasses. So that's who I am. We care here at Murphy's Diesel. Ain't that right, Benner? That's right. You got it. Straight from the horse's mouth, folks. How about this van? It smells like burnt rubber and cherry lube. Hot Rod's van smells like burnt rubber and cherry lube. I like it. Huh. Is that your first wreck? 
sound. Seem like it. I don't know. Trends, not trends. Not gonna be with us much longer. He's leaving. Not sure why. We're the best company to work for, hands down. I agree. Just homesick. Ah. <laughs> All right, so uh, we're gonna slide these bogies now forward. I got the highway open. We got her. We got her licked, folks. Now I just gotta pull this little job out right here. Pin slide in. All right, Pinner. Go ahead. You're good. Yeah. There's a cab floating down from the top of the track. Well, I can see his side. Do you see my side? Is there anything on my side? Uh -uh. Nothing that's hit. All right. Go back a little and then do it again. Whoa. Here, go again. Do it again. Stop, stop. Boy, that is hot. Here, you want this? That little guy, that little guy right there? I don't know, son. Go back. Whoa, whoa. The pin's locking in. Stop. Oh, it does, right? It should, yeah. Should. But I'm, we're running out of air, though. I think that's why it's hitting is the pins locking in. I guess we're not getting over today, huh? They never do. All right, set it. Set your brakes. Set your brakes. I know the air, yeah. Whoa. It's hitting right here. We gotta take up these brackets off. Whoa. Take those brackets off. See that bracket right there, the two bolts? Two bolts right there, the hold down bracket. Uh, I'm saying it's going like this. Yeah. Yeah. Just take take those two bolts out, grab an impact, and then throw me the impact. I'll take this side up. Well, this is pretty good flush. All right, get out of there, friend. Hey. It's the wall. They can take it. Yeah. <laughs> Alright. Let it rip, potato chip. Ready? Yeah. Get some. Hold on, let me pull it. Oh, 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 oh. There it goes. This side locked in. Go forward a little. Stop. Alright. It's good. Try pick, get out of there, Trent.
Just like that, she's ready to roll. Jesus. Still a little bouncy. Yeah, uh, there ain't no bow on this side. Very little. Yeah, all right. Take her easy. It helped a lot, for sure. Huh? It definitely helped a lot. Yeah. Go really slow. Uh, I'll follow you in uh, 30 ton. I'd just take the shoulder, you know, go slow, I'll follow you. No need to rush. So. We're up by the island, we're good. How you feel about that recovery? Huh? We didn't put a scratch in that bad ladder. That's right. You heard it, folks, straight from the horse's mouth. We didn't put a scratch on that bad Larry. Hey, hand me my phone out of there. In case this doesn't work. No. Afraid. Afraid. Remember that. No. Nah. I'd film. Let's go. Maybe if you're staying. If he wins, you stay. If he wins, you stay. If he wins, I stay? Yeah. Ooh, that's a good one. Yeah. Yeah, you're all clear. Go ahead. There they go. Another one down. Another one in the bank. It's waiting for Rod and Boots Loft. Taking forever. Rod just pulled back in. We gotta pull the tires off of the inside of this rubbing on the bogey rail. So stand by folks. Eastbound and then westbound. Headed back to the yard. Finally got the tires swapped out. Get this little gym back on here. Oh yeah. Want that little guy flopping around when I'm going down the highway. Did my walk around for the 49th time. Ready? Go. Well, I ain't been in this truck in a month of Sundays. My little 30 ton, one of my little 30 ton straight sticks. It's been a real good truck. She's creeping up on uh, 300,000. Probably time to trade her in. This is what uh, the truck that Bootsloff started in. Yep. Oh, it's a good truck. I don't know if we want to get rid of her. Do you, do you feel uh, the, like you smelt a hint of cinnamon when you got in here? Like it's really home, homey? Yeah, very good. Yeah. The good old days, huh? The good old days. Buckle up, folks. It's the law. Click it or tick it. 
what I always say. Well, we made it back to the yard, folks. And uh, got them tucked away. We're going to do some load transfers later on today. Uh, maybe someday I'll show you how we do load transfers right here at our dock. I must say, we didn't scratch a corner on that bad, Larry. I did a heck of a job. Rod did a heck of a job. I don't even know if I need to say that anymore. I just think it's it's a given. So, old Finner. Finner did a heck of a job. Finner caught it with his rotator. Worked out perfect. Finner was there to work on the other wreck, and once he pulled off that wreck, he jumped on this one. Worked out perfect. And uh, old Bruce, Michael, old Michael, did a heck of a job. He is on old Martin Riggs. Just getting it done on Martin Riggs. And uh, got to stretch War Machine's legs out today. So that was enjoyable. But it did. It made it back here. Made it back here without collapsing. Got it back here one piece. Even though it's almost in two pieces. Yeah, we didn't scratch a corner on that bad Larry. We got two load load transfers to do. I don't know, we might have something else to do. I'm waiting for a guy. We quoted a job over on the New Mexico line to do a load shift, 80,000 pound load shift. But we're waiting to see if he wants to do it. But other than that, pretty quiet little day, you know? Got the boys some new vests. Hot Rod loves his. Let's go ask Hot Rod how he likes his new vest. How's that new vest treating you? It's a little big. Huh? A little snug. Looks good on you, though. Yeah. It's slimming. Yeah. Hey, let me try it out. No, I got See, that's why I should got an extra rod right there. That vest looks huge that's on you. Huh? That vest looks huge on you. On me? Yeah, it looked tiny on me. It's perfect. Yeah, these are these are running big. This guy wore a 2X. Really? That's a 2X? Yeah. You do have a hoodie. Yeah. You guys look like mall cops. Yeah, we did a heck of a job today, I must say. You know? Uh, we came, we saw, we were covered. Me and Rod are off to go have ourselves a couple tall glasses of hot recovery. And, uh, Rod and I. Maybe a, a hoagie or something. You know? Maybe, maybe we'll buy hoagies for the whole outfit. I don't know. Everybody did a hell of a job except for Finner. It's because of the shorts. Or capris. Yeah, how about them <laughs> uh, I wouldn't say it got western. Um, we were we were definitely moving pretty quickly trying to get the highway open. So uh, we didn't run catch lines on the tractor. Uh, we didn't, you know, kind of threw stuff together quickly. It wasn't real by the foot, you know. Sometimes we do safety second. You know, just kidding. We always do safety first. So, Huh? You're missing a binder? Is it under the buggy? We all did a hell of a job except for Finner today. Yeah. Losing all of his chains and binders. Finner. Finner lost all of his chains and binders. No, I give him to everybody else who doesn't have them. Finner lost all of his chains and binders today. <laughs> and half of his rigging. You stay classy, double semi-wreck that all the other towing companies turned down.